I can recall in my lifetime where there are two questions people really ask me. First of all, you race your background or the your race or your color. And some people might look at me and think I'm a white boy. I've had people think I'm Latino, Hispanic. Uh, some people see me with my beard and they probably think I'm from overseas. You can see I'm I'm one of these people from uh, the Middle East. Some people look at me and think, oh well, that either I'm a yellow bone or whatever they could think of, which is in their minds. And the second thing people want to know is my sexual orientation. I think that's the two things people really are trying to figure out. And I'm a type of person I don't usually tell people my sexual orientation. They don't need to know about it. But in the long run, I think if you read my autobiographies, then you will kind of understand exactly my sexual orientation. And I think my viewers already know, or if they don't, I'm bi. I started to think maybe I'm not, and that I was gay, but still and all, I feel that my sexual orientation has nothing to do, e and my racial background has nothing to do with who I am. I remember that I took care of my grandmother when she said she had got cancer and died so I can't understand there I even remember how as a kid that I think being in a fantasy world kind of took me away from what what was reality or the things that reality had exactly see in reality a lot of people don't want to admit certain things and I guess when I became a teenager and I was still in the fantasy world it kind of helped me leave this world behind the reality of this world uh, I remember always enjoying myself. I remember going to high school for the first time, Northwest High. I went to Lawtel Elementary from kindergarten to eighth grade. I think I had failed kinderg kindergarten. I think I did. And my mother didn't want me to repeat it. And I remember failing fourth grade and I had to repeat it. So as I went from kindergarten to eighth grade. I even went to Lawtel Head Start. I remember my mother used to walk me over there to Head Start. And I liked going there, especially for the food. We even had a chance to take a nap in this school. So I, I kind of liked it. But I think every child really doesn't like school. Who does? What child does? That's the question.